know to find a spot to put this. Maybe right there will do. It seems to be tracking me all right. Um, sorry for the sudden movements. So it's Friday night and I'm going to start getting ready for a run tomorrow. And I'm sitting here thinking maybe I need to do more running in the dark. So I'm supposed to do 45 kilometres tomorrow and I want to try and do 40 before park run starts, which means I'm aiming to go to bed very soon because it's nearly nine o'clock and I'm just kind of getting my kit ready and if I can get up and just get dressed and go out the door, I think that would be awesome. I want to start at the park run so it's like if everything goes well, then I'll have completed 40 Ks by the time park run starts or hopefully at a, get there at a decent enough time so that I can do the last uh, five Ks at park run. So I feel like I need to walk slowly so that this camera will follow. I feel like I need to get some things ready so I don't have to do it in the morning. If I can wake up, I'm running out of this stuff. If I can get ready, I just have to chuck my stuff on. So I've got a new backpack. It's even still got the tags on it and I'm gonna set that up in the morning. I'm just getting drinks ready, outfits there, most of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep this start short and sweet and time will tell if I end up doing what I wanna do. So I wanna wake up at three o'clock and get my head torch on and make sure that's charged for sure and go off for an adventure tomorrow. So let's see if this happens guys. Good morning. And I'm looking at the camera like I'm supposed to be. So it is 3.14 a.m. Surprisingly feeling really refreshed. And uh, you know how you get up, you wake up in bed and it's just like, oh, I'll watch um, something on TV or YouTube or whatever. And it's like, as soon as I thought that, I'm like, no, just get up, have some breakfast, get ready. So I have been getting ready and I do have um, a running channel uh, video going and I've got some, don't mind me boxes, um, avocado, tomato, egg and cheese toasted stuff. So yeah, I can't use my words at the moment, but I'm going to eat this and then start to get dressed and get out the door, hopefully in half an hour. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye. What a great time of the day to be running. I'm in between Stroga and Glengarry at the moment on the big long bridge. A little bit scary. But let's push that comfort zone, hey? This is why I'm out here. See you in Glengarry. Hello. I've made it to Glengarry. Um, this whole concept of running 20 kilometers out, turning around and coming back might be a bit much. I pretty much have to be doing a sub four hour marathon for the time that I was leaving. And it's like I've just had a big toilet break. Um, I've gone past 10Ks now, and I don't think I wanna do another 10 out, and then have to race back to get to park run, because I still have that goal to try and do 250 park runs today. I mean, not today. Fuck. <laughs> um, this year. So, 
I'm thinking somewhere between 15 k's and 17.5 is when I'll turn around so then that way I'll be at like 30 k's by the time I get back to my car I can always reassess as time goes uh, I don't know what the time is now let's have a quick look sorry for the flashbang so quarter past five um yeah, hello dog so quarter past five even if I maintained six minute pace uh, it would get me to park run at like quarter past eight and then five k's to go and if I'm feeling bad those last five k's could be walking and I also have to catch up to the tail runner and I don't think I want to do that I don't want to have that time pressure on me today is more about getting out of the comfort zone and getting in the dark learning to run in the night so let's enjoy it I have no idea how much you can see and it doesn't look like much on the back of the camera Mountains cold down to the steep And caverns old We march away In break of day Find one forgotten gold Woo baby! Twin Gaby! Oh, I need to get this sign up here too. Oh, I had so many contemplations on what I wanted to do. It's six o'clock now. Oh, look at the pretty stars. I feel amazing. I'm so fucking proud of myself right now. Six o'clock. One hour 58 to get back to Park Run, which is uh, uh, yeah. It's taken me an hour 54 to get here, so that's not too bad. I'm at 18.83 kilometers. Yeah, boy! Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck your good Buffalo Briggsy. So good. Freedom! Yes! That seemed weird, but hey, I've made a discovery just now after hitting like 26, 27 k's and I'm like, that's the entire rail trail out at Ballara. I feel like this has gone so quick and the sun is only just starting to come up soon I'm not going to need the head torch it's a lot brighter than the GoPro is portraying um, I don't know if you can see that behind me went through a stage around 21k's and I'm like 
this feels like it's nothing. And now it's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, my knees are sore. <laughs> but they're gonna be okay. And I need to go to the toilet again. Like I'm only a couple of k's from Glengarry now. How nice is it out here right now? Fun fact, last time I was at this barbecue place, Lauren and I were completing a um, 38 reasons, 38 kilometer um, walk from here to Hayfield. Hello Lauren, missing you. You're an awesome friend. But I've got to keep going. One hour and two minutes to get to Park Run. So it's about, yeah, about 10 k's from here. So I'll be pretty close, I think. Whoa. Nice to see some sunlight. Get that vitamin D. Yeah, boy. Must be nice to see me now. Can see so much more. Took over 30 k's now. Got the music going in my headphones. Just to get through these last 15 kilometers. Still doing some uh, five minute 30 k's at the moment, which is quite good. Oh look, the grass puppies. Heard that tone last night at the Wes by uh, a new regular uh, yeah don't want to reveal his name but he liked uh, abnormal names for things and instead of cows they're called grass puppies I'm never going to forget that hello Willy Wagtail <sighs> Let's go. Stop it! 14.2 to go. This is a bloody quick run. That's what happens when you get out of your comfort zone, hey? Oh, hello there. How are you today? I hope you've had a lovely sleep in while I've been out here running. So, I'm in the final 10 kilometers now. Yeah, it's getting a bit hard. The pace is still pretty consistent around 5.30s. Not that I'm aiming for that now. I kind of just want to get it done. Just had my gel and when I hit 40 k's, which will be during park run, probably. Uh, I'll have my last drink and push on through for the last few k's. So, hoping some really good music pops on soon. So, in the last five k's now, had my last drink and my gel to get me to 45. Hey. I'll have to go back out after my next time here. But let's get this done. Hell yeah, that was amazing. Had a look at the time. I've just done the uh, horseshoe bit at Park Run. There's a cool down. And I remember getting here, I had like 300 meters left for 45 k's and it was like four hours 28 minutes i'm like oh i could nearly get under four hours 30 for 45 k's and it's like oh that was so close <laughs> and it's like you think of all the toilet breaks and pee stops and it's like wow this is a amazing run today oh couldn't have asked for it any better heard it well done so, cool down, stretch, 
and eat all the calories at Food Co. I think. I just had a look at my um my zone and I've achieved 903 MEPS though my heart rate monitor was a little bit funky because there was no way I was in the red for any of it except maybe like the end of park run for me because I think I ran like a sub five minute K for the last kilometer or probably close to it and yeah four and a half thousand calories or something so I think I deserve a nice substantial meal so I can recover for tomorrow's 25k run anyway I might make this as a double video because I haven't recorded much on this <sighs> so I'll leave it at that for now for now for now for now for now have an amazing day a few moments later good morning somewhat just so today is day two for a back-to-back -back long run 45 yesterday as you've seen 25 today and I've had a really good sleep because I was exhausted yesterday after getting up at 3 a.m. for a 45k run so it is now nearly 10 o'clock which is a very late start for a run for me especially for this distance so I'm out here at Ballara I thought what a great place to come out after yesterday's run and I'm reminiscing a little bit it seems to be happening a lot lately it's like um what is it during my 100 kilometer training I remember coming out here and I'm like oh if I can't go if I can't do one of these how am I supposed to do 100 k's and it's like just one of those times when you're not um, doing well but then look how well my 100k went that was a great run even yesterday I had a injury from the 100k well, wasn't so much an injury but uh, those that remember I put my bladder around the wrong way in the 100k so the connection point for the tube to get water um, that was rubbing against the middle of my back so it caused like a friction mark and it's like I got one of those yesterday but I think it's just from the new backpack 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 <laughs> um, yeah so I think that's that um, so I'm gonna put some body glide or gurney goo as I'm putting on now because I don't have any step ones left for today's run. Just gotta make sure all bits are nicely lubricated. Don't really have many gels today either, so I've got one gel and four oranges, and that's my nutrition for today's run. Um, I think that'll be enough anyway. Worst case scenario is I um, get something from a shop when I'm in Mubu North. That's me. <sighs> anyway, might record more when I get going. Bye. have some healing today as well I think there's a lot on my mind coming here <sighs> to try and enjoy this as much as I can bye I love my American family thank you Cammy thank you Blake I love that chat then oh, it's great to hear how much you're cheering me on Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Oh.
1.4 kilometers and I can have some more oranges. Yeah! <laughs> Bye. You want me to. A lot of damage out here on that storm. Poor rail trail. Say something, I'm giving up on you. There's some pink there, Cammy. So they were tiny little, uh, I think they're called pink heathers. Probably not going to see them during winter. Whoa. Go, go, go! Get to that turn around. Okay, nearly at the turn around. Morning. Morning. Hello. It's good to have been. Uh, let's get to the roundabout. Stuff it. A little bit over 25 isn't gonna hurt me. It's nice to see maybe north though. Actually, this can be my turnaround. Nice spirit tree. Oh. Uh, it's just close enough to a roundabout. <laughs> One hour, 11 minutes, 26. That's pretty good. With a couple of walking breaks to uh, eat food. I've got one gel left. I'll have it at 10 k's. Um, so 2.3 k's away. 10 k's remaining and then it's going to be all out back to the start okay I've had my gel I've had a pee and I've got 9.77 kilometers to go so now I think it's going to be depleting the tank because all I've got is water but that's okay I should be finished in 50, 53 minutes, I'd say. And it's all downhill. Hey, look, it's the park round turnaround sign. Anyway, Ooh, gates of Torah. Yeah, boy! 6.43 to go! Yeah! <laughs> go, Static X! Go! Oh, shit! I shouldn't be able to do this. But I am. I feel like. I'm living someone else's life at the moment. Whose body is this? It certainly doesn't feel like mine. But thank you. To the person that made this body. You're amazing. I don't think I can recognize that person anymore. Forty five Ks yesterday, twenty five today. The last two kilometers have been five oh one and five oh eight. This is my last kilometer. No idea what pace this is, but 
but I'm still moving very well. I'm still talking. So well done. 700 meters. Two in about two minutes, I guess. Bye. And that is 25 kilometers done and dusted. Might as well get to the other side. Yes. That's probably gonna make you guys sick. <laughs> Stop sweating. Okay, that's better. Oh, now the sun's in my face. Stop, stop, stop. There, that's good. Let's get the crap off the camera. Anyway, oh, I've just had like a really good stretching session and it's like, it's so nice out here. Um, you can see why people would want to live out here. Maybe when I retire, I can come out to Ballara. <laughs> <sighs> or somewhere. Bright, Chilton, New Yanes, <laughs> somewhere special. So, I feel like I'm a bit of imposter syndrome, I guess. Uh, being able to do that run yesterday it was my third fastest marathon again. <laughs> um, and then I kept going as well after it, which doesn't seem right and then to come out today and do 25 k's on this trail in like two hours 17 or whatever the next day it's like i've never felt more outside of my body than i do now i think it just doesn't seem like i should be allowed to do this and it used to be a rare occurrence something like this like there was one particular time i was at sail park run and I think I ran like a, I think it was 23 minutes and 33 seconds for a 5k. And it was one of those runs where it's like everything lined up and it just went so smooth and it went so well. And it feels like you shouldn't be able to run that fast. Even though there's people that run 10 minutes quicker than that, it's like, for me, it feels like I shouldn't be able to do that. And like, these past couple of days, I feel like I shouldn't have been able to do what I've done, but it's like I have put in a hell of a lot of work. And like I was saying, the last time I came out, oh, not the last time, but a time I came out here was during my 100 kilometer training. And I was like, I was struggling just on the way up, um, let alone on the way back down. And I remember recording in the, a video saying, I sh how the hell am I supposed to do a hundred kilometers if I can't even do this? So the fact that I've done this and yesterday, I should be able to do a hundred miles. No, it doesn't work out that way, but it's like, I've never been more confident to be able to do this. I just feel like it's going to be the time and there's going to be a lot of people that I know there. I hope Courtney can be there still as well, even if it's just for a little bit. <sighs> Beck's going to be there, Kat's going to be there, maybe Mark, Kenny will be there, Dad will be there. Um, so many people will be there in spirit, especially after what Cammy and Blake said today, like, they know that I'm doing all right when I'm doing these YouTube videos, and when I hadn't put one up in a while, they're probably like, oh, something must be wrong. But then they see a video come up, and they're like, okay, he's doing all right, <laughs> I think. And, yeah, 
we had a lovely chat on the rail trail and she said that even though she misses a lot of the um, live tracking things for my runs, she still looks and it's like she's there in spirit and now I know she's there in spirit. I feel like every run I'm going to do I'm going to know that they're cheering me on over in America and I think that is something really special. This has been one hell of a week and a weekend. It's been a hell of a 4k block. Sorry, feel like I had something in my elbow. Anyway, it's after 12. I think it's time to go and get some lunch. Or change my shirt and have a drive back home. I'll give mum and Becky a call, see if they want some lunch while I'm popping through. Anyway, thank you all. Hope this video isn't going to be too long if I'm doing both videos in one day. Or two days worth of videos in one video. <laughs> Mr. Magpies. Anyway, I need some nourishment. Bye guys, have a beautiful day. Thank you. Harper, trying to get out of this swing now. <laughs> it swung back and hit me in the back of my legs. How rude. Bye.